Hey yo, what's going on guys? This is Clutch once again and welcome to another My Best Packs video. Now, this is part two. Part one will be in the description if you haven't seen it before, but part one got a crazy response, so I thought why not do another one because I have so much Madden content backed up, so many pack openings, so I thought why not just put all my best pack posts together and release it in one video for you guys because I need to get rolling on this channel once again and we might as well get that all out of the way at once. Now, first thing we packed was Jeremiah Ratliff. Now, this was one of my craziest pulls at the time because he was worth 100k at the time and he actually was my best pull. Um, but reading the comments, I got Ratliff in a pro pack. A lot of you guys don't really get much luck in pro packs, which is crazy because it's where I get most of my luck. But to be honest, I don't like open one or two pro packs at a time. I open bundles. Like There's only been once or twice where I've opened like one random pro pack and managed to get an elite. Um, and I think that was like a Jordan Cameron or something who, who goes for like 6, 7k right now. No, not 6k, like 7.5k, which isn't even like worth a pro pack um it's crazy how low elite how cheap elites are right now but back then when i was packing these they were actually worth something decent um like roger saffold and that weren't worth that much to be honest they were like they were like 20k or so but it's still 20k that you can use towards upgrading your team now pack vernon davis again and um, most of these um pack pulls are from like the same bundle and that but um to be honest I did, I did leave out quite a few elites because they were duplicates. I don't know why I left them that same Vernon Davis, but um, as you can see, this there are a lot of old packs in this. We managed to pack Load Holt in our Terra pack. Um, he is an 89, not, he's not a 97. He was 97 for that weekend. Um, but moving on to the um, Ultimate Feast set. Now, I was trying, to, I was opening these Banquet reward, reward packs to try and get these elites to try and complete that set to get those better elites. And we got Sanders twice. Now, Sanders is actually was actually the most expensive one. I think I was selling him for around 80, 90k around that time. Um, but we didn't manage to get all the elites that we needed. But we got Sanders quite a few times, so it was worth it in the end. We got Casey Hayward, who's still in our team to this date. He is an absolute monster at cornerback, so um, he is still in the team. Now, football outsider elites are kind of annoying. I wish they go they went in a set because they aren't worth shit. And as you can see, third time we got Emmanuel Sanders right there. I'm not really complaining to be honest because he was one of the most expensive ones, as I said. But yo, the. <laughs> I don't understand how how I packed him so many friggin times that week but um yeah as I was saying we get Mario Williams in this pack I think this is one of those crazy packs but yeah it's a game changer pack so we got two elites but as I was saying about football outsiders they don't really sell for much which is it's weird it's probably because they don't go in sets but they've got some pretty decent stats so it's pretty crazy to, to see that a 90 player a 90 rated player can only go for like 10 maybe 12k or so but we got cam chancellor right there who is one of my better pulls i think i sold him for like 40k champ bailey doesn't go for much he's one of those players that you probably won't make your coins back from the pro pack from him but we got bowman right there as you can see i don't think there have been any packs apart from the one game changer pack and the few most feared packs that haven't been pro packs um i get crazy luck in these pro packs for some reason um i don't know why but i'm just gonna keep opening them because they they work for me so why not um but yeah we're moving on we're, well we're we're more recent now we're on to the the frozen um the ultimate free set i almost forgot what it was called then and we got another another um football outsider elite in whitworth and um, now we're on to all pro packs um these packs i got quite some luck in this was this was all from the same bundle i managed to open i think it was three or four of them and i got an elite in every single one of them um so we got charles johnson and that they they aren't really worth that much but as this was the, that random pack that i was talking about that jordan cameron that i got in one one random pro pack now he only goes for like 7.5k so 7.5k if you sell him then you're not getting your coins back because of ea tax you go, you're only gonna get back like what flipping 6750 coins or some crap but we move on to some of these um gifts that we got for the ultimate freeze we got the clay matthews and we also got the um jackson as well now this day 
was pretty crazy I, I wasn't gonna include any badges or anything but this was the same day this th those was my three presents for the day we got the clay matthews jackson and we got an elite badge in our badge pack so i was fairly happy with that um but yeah this video is coming to an end um and from our team of the week elite topper we got a key to leave now i thought it was just um an, an elite from that week so i was like eh, this ain't that great um i just bought him yesterday blah 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 and then i saw someone i think it was gs that got an elite from like team of the week four that was worth like 10k or some something ridiculous like that so i was pretty lucky to get to leave who was over 100k um and I got another good elite from this frost topper pack now the last pack that we have after this we got vince wilfork i wasn't recording at the time so um i didn't manage to get the actual elite pull the last pack we have is a flashback pack and i had that um quick sell last time and i think this flashback is equally as good i got a james harrison i didn't get any crappy flashbacks like cribs or anything I got a flashback that's worth over 200k so i was more than happy with that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this, this video today um i'm gonna be doing a lot more bundles on the own um so you can see whether i am actually like really lucky or i just well obviously i open a lot of packs so um this video was just a compilation of my best packs but i'm gonna open bundles when they come out here and there if i'm interested in them if they have some good toppers and that so you guys can see exactly how lucky or unlucky i am but yeah till next time guys this was just me checking how much um harrison's price was at the time because i didn't know um and yeah there you go he's over 200k so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video but till next time guys it has been clutch peace this shit to me please please give me the points how do you miss that whoa 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 look at this cheese he is all alone easy layup and he still misses and i don't get the rebound either